Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my wonderful Marvel wife, Laura, and we're here to just do a quick bonus video explaining the gameplay. From the Woolworths Marvel Heroes discs. Yes, so um, if you buy the album, uh, there are two different games you can play, basic or advanced, yep. and they pretty much involve using the attributes you can see on your discs. It's a very basic game. Obviously, it is aimed at kids, but um, someone actually asked if we do a run through so now i will say will. that if you've played a top trumps game um it's almost identical in, in style yes so um as we said basic and advanced we're just going to play basic um but advanced is really not that different Should we just all. sort of zoom in here and then people can sort of so um the idea is you start with we're going to play with five discs it suggests five to ten and each round i suppose you'd call it um we're going to pick a disc each uh, the first player is going to call out one of the attributes. So there is strength, fighting, intelligence, speed, and durability. And then the one with the highest score in that attribute wins and keeps those discs. Um, then repeat until all the discs are used, basically. The winner is the person who has the most at the end of the game. We'll also mention that the actual wording is not fantastic. So you might want to just confirm with your other players how you're playing. Yeah, so I mean, um, even just in the basic one, it's a bit... Like it says, um, so you each pick a random disc first, um, but then player one calls out the attribute. Now, obviously, it, it, <laughs> so it tells you to put the disc down in front of you before calling out like an attribute that you're but going to play But of course, if as. I put the disc down first and you do, you're going to pick obviously an attribute. I'm, I'm going to look at your disc and try and pick one that's mm. going to make me win. So... Um, I would just say pick the disc randomly, but maybe don't turn it over yet. No. Might be the better idea. Um, otherwise, it you know kind of <laughs> defeats the purpose. Um, and then I think yeah, the winner um, of each round then gets to pick this and keep going until they're all depleted. Mm. The only difference with the advanced, um, you connect it to your defeated discs, and um, the attributes get combined on the defeated discs. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the only real difference. So we're just going to play the basic one and see how we go. We've got a team of five discs each. I bet you there's going to be some Spider-Men in there. So I'm going to randomly pick my first one. I can't remember who's who, to be honest. Oh, I'm showing you. No. <laughs> Ready? All right. All right. I'm going to pick strength. So we might need to zoom in. Hang on. All right. So we just moved. Uh, we realized that was silly to play. We have to, we've got to capture this high octane action up close. All right, so strength. I have Star Lord with three, and I have four. So that means Spider Man wins against Star Lord. So, so you want to put them on the screen there. So Nathan gets those two, and it is your turn to pick the attribute again. All right, I'm just sort of randomly selecting new disc. All right, I've got someone yellow. I've got someone red. Uh, speed. Oh, upside down. Hang on. Spider-Man uh, speed two. of three. I've got two. <laughs> so Spider-Man yet again dun, is dun. the winner. <laughs> All right. I'm going right, to shuffle my, my three purples. Going uh, with black. Intelligent. Intelligence. Three. Three. Now, if it is a tie... It doesn't actually say anything in the basic game for a tie, does it? No. no. How about we just... Um, in the advanced gameplay, it says um, for the tie, you select another attribute and it's a winner's choice. Okay, well, I'm going to pick... <laughs> Nathan's reading them, so... I'm going to pick speed. Yeah. See, that's the other thing we were, we were saying when we were um, kind of reading it just before we filmed. I mean, it's a bit silly. The winner of the last round just gets to pick after I, already I, seeing I them. I would recommend just shuffling the discs again and both picking and up one. I, I, I would think that yeah. would be better as well. But no, that is not the instructions. Mm -mm. All right, next round. We've got two left. Yep, my two. Uh, I'm going to pick fighting this time. Fighting, I've got Spider-Man with four. And I've got Rocket Raccoon with four. So how about we pick again? All right. Picking again... Durability. My durability is four, and yours Mine's is two. two. So it means I, I am not doing very well. Here. Shuffle my one, one disc. All right. Would you like to pick? No, it's okay. We'll, we'll play the right way as best we uh, can. Fighting. I have four. You have four. Pick again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hang on. What's, can I even beat you? I don't think you can, I can beat you. So. Yay! I got two discs. So I have two and you have, that means eight. Hmm. So we started with ten total. Well, uh, here's one of my recommendations for this game. 
don't play the game. Just build awesome stuff using the discs. Yeah. Fine for kids, but yeah, definitely yeah. nothing beyond that sort of basic, just bit of fun. I think trading them and building them would be more exciting. Exactly. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know down below if you've made up your own game or if you're just playing the basic and advanced one on the back of the pack. Hit subscribe and check us out on Facebook. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.